What is up you guys? It is Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally here with a very exciting video. One that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a very long time. I am going to show you guys part one of my living room transformation. How I started what's happened, where I got everything that's in this space so far, and kind of where I'm going with it. And then there'll be a part two, which I'll show you the actual grand reveal. I'm missing so many pieces, like art and things like that. But I know you guys love these videos. I wanna very much keep you guys a part of this process, get your opinions, because there's so many decisions I still need to make. If you guys love these videos on my channel, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed if you are not, and let's get into the video. So first, I want to kind of explain to you guys my mood, my vibe, and kind of what I'm going for in my living room. I went on Pinterest to build kind of my mood board to kind of show the interior designer what I was going for, and also to kind of just build off myself, because what is in here so far is what I picked out, and then I'm gonna add the extra stuff that the interior designer added to what I already have. So I really, really wanted to go for that kind of contemporary, modern look, very minimal. You have that like old European French house on a beach like kind of like a pillow-esque fairy tale good energy but still modern and classy but homey at the same time very very confusing but it is a thing and it's happening and i'm making it happen very very slowly i wanted to stick with colors like black gold and white and then a little pops of like nude and blues and greens kind of just throughout the accent pieces and things like that I knew I wanted really, really grand pieces, but very simple at the same time. Like one really big piece is going to make a huge difference, but it's just one piece. I really, really wanted fancy, minimal art, but really stood out. I'm obsessed with it. And this is kind of what I'm modeling my home entirely to look like. So first, let me show you guys the before of my living room and kind of what that looked like, because it is dramatically different. So this is my living room currently right now and uh, my mom and sister are on the couch, so say hello. Space in my living room was very, very awkward. It is not a regular living room, so I already knew I was gonna have a challenge trying to find the couch that I wanted, trying to find pieces that really fit the room, and I still don't feel comfortable with the way that it is, but it's a very hard room to work with, so I decided to go with pieces that I know I would love and keep for a long time, even if it didn't fully fit the room that I'm in right now, if I get a house later on, I know I would still carry these pieces forward, but it was very bare, it's just kind of awkward and long, so I had to kind of squeeze in my couch, a dining table, a credenza, a TV, and still create enough space between my island and my living room. Next, I wanna talk about the actual furniture pieces and everything that is kind of in my living room. First off, let's talk about my beautiful couch. I get so many questions about my couch. I'm gonna have to get so creative. This couch is ginormous. Oh my God, you guys, my couch is here. So I would sleep on that, no problem. <sighs> but that back piece back there is broken. So we'll have to figure that out. I don't know how we're gonna put this. Because it is so big, we're having trouble on how we should shape it for the type of living room that I have. My mom put it in this L shape, which I do like. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks so I cute. Need pillows. And then get some cute pillows and then put my put my let's put, put my rug down right here. and see what it looks like. Doesn't it look like you just wanna jump onto it? It looks like a big cloud actually a lot of youtubers have this couch and that's kind of where i found it i found it from jessica howell i will have the couch linked down below but my suggestion to you is to call a local store near you and order the couch through them do not i repeat do not order the couch through the website. The online website is horrible. They delivered a broken couch. I have been working with somebody that's so lovely at the actual store in LA, and they're saying, I'm so sorry, but there's nothing we can do because it's a completely different LLC. Yes, we are the same company, but we all work under different rules. You have to go through the customer service online, which sucks because it's a literally a broken couch. I am working with my bank to work out getting the money back for this couch. I am keeping the couch. Don't don't worry, but I am working something out because there's no way in heck that I'm getting scammed like that. But I do love this couch. I mean, the quality of the couch, the way it looks. I love how the couch kind of gives me a classy feel, but also very, very homey. Definitely a statement piece to me because it's so transitional like that. There's one at Living Spaces and one, this company is called Modani. But remember what I said, 
call a local store. Do not order from their website. They are horrible. So this was actually the first thing that actually got delivered was my beautiful rug, which I am so happy I found. It's such a good find. I love this rug. This rug just kind of makes my house feel like a home. It gives me that French European vibe with like the patterns. I got it in ivory color. It has like kind of neutral tones throughout the rug. It has tassels on it. So it gives you that fancy kind of elevated elegant look, but it's still so homey because the warm tones kind of bring it down. I'm so excited to show you guys that it's actually going to change. I'm gonna be adding more to this rug. You have to stay tuned for part two for that. And it's gonna like, oh, change the room. I, I'm so excited. Yes, yeah. see this. One of the second things I actually found for my living room was this beautiful mushroom lamp. I know that trend is kind of going around a lot. I see it everywhere. I was at Home Goods. me and Roberta were walking through and I saw this girl post this exact lamp on her Instagram. I was like, oh, that's so cute. I wish I could find that. I literally found it the next day. So weird, the first Home Goods I went to. It was $79 for this lamp. And usually if you go online looking for mushroom lamps like this, they're so expensive. So this definitely was a steal. It was at Home Goods. I will try to link something similar if I can't find that. So the next thing that I went and got, I actually got it at Ikea, was this credenza. I had some Somebody come and assemble all of the furniture for me. I was gonna film and then I was like, that's kind of awkward. And I don't know if they're okay with that, but I will show you what they did. It looks, it looks so good. It looks so good. All right. So here it is. I mounted the TV and then I got, he put together this entertainment center for me, the console, whatever you want to call it, but it looks so good. I know it looks so small on camera, but it literally takes up that whole wall. I just love this. It looks so clean, so chic and classy and simple. I'm gonna, of course, decorate it, put my books in there, put the lamps in the corner. I actually saw this on a, another girl's Instagram. Fell in love with just how elegant it looked, how beautiful it looked. I knew I wanted something white and kind of stone looking, and it was really hard to find. Plus, credenzas are so expensive, and I was just like, I love that it looks so elegant. It has so much storage on the inside. It actually has shelving in there. I have to give a huge shout out to my mom. She was such a mastermind. She should go to school for decor. She literally understood exactly what I was looking for. I just couldn't get my point across. So she helped me style it. It is not done. We ordered a lot more decor pieces. They're just not coming. They're not here yet. So that's gonna change. But for right now, I wanted it to still be styled. Credit all to my mom with the way my living room is styled right now. I love it. There's not a room in my house that doesn't have a piece of CB2 furniture decor in it because they get me. They truly get exactly what I'm going for, but their delivery process and system, Lord help me. But there's a lot going on in the world. So I'm sure, I hope it wouldn't be like this in regular circumstances. But they finally, finally delivered my coffee table after a few mishaps of it just not showing up. It is here, finally. I cannot believe this. I mean, I can, like I ordered it, so. But the fact that I've had to wait months, it got canceled and it got rebooked and then it got was supposed to show up and then it didn't show up. But I wanted to show you guys, this is my beautiful coffee table. Now, I was super nervous that because my couch was white and square and because I can't have the couch out long ways in this type of living room, it would just look super cluttered. But I actually think it looks fine. That chair is not gonna go here. So there's gonna be a lot of space, but I actually love it like this and it adds to that white oasis kind of theme I was going for but brings in that modern look to it. It's very very heavy table It is actually stone definitely something that I was going for now as for all the little trinkets There's not many in here. I ordered so much more they're coming, but I got all of my Coffee table books from Amazon and I ordered actually a few more. Okay, so I have this coffee table book, the Prada one. And then I have this huge Tom Ford book and I'm going to put it on the console, the entertainment center. What else you can you, do you call that? Credenza. There's another word for it, credenza. But I'm gonna put it in the center of them to see how that looks. So I got the Prada one, the Architectural Digest one, and then I got the Christian Dior in the South of France one. I draw a lot of inspiration from these books for my home, and I definitely wanted them in here. I feel like book coffee table books are such a nice way to add a pop of color, but very neutral, and the way that they're made, they look so elegant and nice. I will have them all linked down below, and it's so beautiful. I forgot, almost forgot I had these until my mom just reminded me that the whole reason why I got them was to put them on this table. So let's put them on there. Okay, so this is how I have it. It's very minimal. 
probably add some things later, but this is what I have on top of here. As for this kind of white marble ring chain looking thing, it's actually a chain from CB2 that I got. It is so, so beautiful and I knew I wanted it in my house. I could drape it over the books, but I kind of like the way that it looked like it was a statue all on its own. So minimal, so modern, but it says a lot. And then on my coffee table, I just have that book and a candle I got from Home Goods, and then these cup holders that I actually got from Ikea. They're gold, just to pop in and throw in another touch of gold to kind of match everything. So that's what's on top of my credenza and my coffee table. And one of my favorite, favorite accessories I have gotten so far for my living room are these light fixtures, lamps, lanterns, whatever you want to call them. I actually picked them up at Ikea. Now, once again, Restoration Hardware has these most beautiful ones that I really, really wanted, but I just was like, I'm not going to spend that much on a lantern. So I got these beautiful ones from Ikea and it kind of gives me that beach look. I love how it adds like a little flare. It's like more homey. It adds some black in here to kind of match the chairs and the black fixtures. I have a black lamp, black TV. And then this blanket right here. I actually got this at Target not too long ago. It might still be there. I think I see a few every time I go. Then I went ahead and after everything was done, I actually hung up the curtains in here, which I knew I wanted for this window. I feel like curtains just bring such a nice elegant vibe to the whole space and it just kind of dresses it up so here is the grand reveal of my entire living room the way that it is and then after this i will show you guys the final concept of what everything's going to look like such a long way i am just so so grateful you guys there was a point in my life where i couldn't even afford a tv to put in my house like i know everybody on social media tries to act perfect and like they have it all together but i have to fight for everything that i ever have and i'm just so proud of myself like there's no way in heck last year i could have afforded any of this done any of this in one year i truly just changed my life and you guys can do it too. Build your dream home, build your dream apartment, and just live the life you wanna be living because we all truly deserve it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, come join me on this journey. Let's do it together. Let's go get it. So for the last part of this video, as you guys know, I worked with an interior designer. So I kind of want to show you guys the process and the behind the scenes of what that was like. I worked with Heavenly, not sponsored at all, but if you want to sponsor me, you can. Love the process. It's all virtual, all through online. And they literally get your concept, your ideas. So I sent those into her and she was just going back and forth for a while. And I kind of tell her what I don't like, what I do like. I'm missing this. I want a little more of this color. And she really just honed in at the end of it and was like, like, boom here you go and it was exactly what I was looking for so currently right now I am talking with the interior designer she just sent me over the first what they call it mood boards so I wanted to show you guys each of them what they look like okay so this is mood board number one which I do love so I don't like this coffee table I don't like these things over here I have that Tom Ford book I don't really like that gold thing in the back but I do like these chairs that is the mirror I will be getting that's gonna go I think on that wall I don't don't like this here now these bar stools I have these chairs sitting right here but she thinks I should return them because they're just too low so she's thinking to get something higher that are actually meant for bar stools these could actually be cool I kind of like them they're standing out to me she has this for the art which I'm not a fan of now this rug is too small and I was like I'm gonna get a new one and she's like no instead of getting a whole brand new rug just double layer it so put another rug under it um, to kind of maximize the space and that will make it more homey, which I agree with her on. So I do like that idea. So this is number one. Make sure to vote down below what you guys think. Okay, so this is room number two. 
who. There's a lot more things that I like in here. I definitely like the greenery that is added over here. I have a lamp like this. I like these bar stools. They're white. It's kind of hard to see, but they're white bar stools. I have this chair. Now, this this rug can be layered under the one I have right now to make it more funky instead of more less boho if I'm looking for more of a funky or feel. I love these chairs. And I have this kind of going on already. So this is room number two. I think I definitely, I think I like these bar stools. That's gonna be a lot of white. Then there's those candlesticks, which I'm not a fan of either. And I don't like the pillows or the blankets. So let's see number three. Okay, so this is number three, kind of the mood board we're going off of. So if you don't know, I already have this couch. I already have this chair. I already have this ottoman. I have this thing and I have this table. So she's just kind of giving me the finishing touches of my home. I love this tree. I don't know if I should do a black mirror instead. And these are the bar stools and this, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God, this is so hard for me. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this at all. So those are the three options that I have. So I'm gonna come up with a list of things that I love in each room and see if she can come with a mood board for the final touch and I will show you guys. You guys, I look like absolute freaking crack, but um, my, <laughs> my interior designer just sent me the final, <laughs> I can't even talk, I'm so excited. My interior designer, my interior designer finally, I have my little blonde hair sticking out. My interior designer, can I talk? My interior designer just sent me the, f my interior designer literally just sent me over the last concept for the living room. And I was getting kind of nervous. I was like, oh my God, is she gonna be able to pull through? I didn't, I, I liked what she did, but it wasn't like calling my name. And then she just sent this over, you guys. Look at her, I love, I can't even breathe right now, how much I love this concept. I love the overly white look. It is totally me with some seashells, you, you guys. The mirror, the olive tree, I love this. Oh my God. Of course, it's not gonna be exactly like this because I'm probably not gonna order everything on here, but oh, this is everything. This is exactly what I was looking for. So yeah, that will be in part two once all that is delivered. If you guys love the living room, definitely let me know what you guys think. But any advice, you guys know what to do. Leave it down below. I will see you guys in the next transformation video. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.